Welcome to this quick introduction to ServiceNow's in-platform process mining solution. I always like to start these sessions with this quote. I thought this one from the, the, the great American author Maya Angelou worked well. Do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. I like this quote because it describes why many of you are here today to learn a little bit more about the serv about service now and then go back and apply that knowledge to get more value out of your investment in the platform. It also sums up the solution we're going to be talking about today, process mining, which automates the process of x-raying our workflows and showing us where and how we can do better for anyone and everyone involved with them. With everything we do, there's a designed and desired path in our minds for how it should work and how things should play out, whether that be planning a recording like this one or a business process. And when we design things, we design for efficiency as well as completeness to provide the best experience possible for as many people as possible. Unfortunately, what we design is not always what plays out in reality. The reality is not all work flowing through a process is going to take the designed route which is gonna have a negative impact on the experience that both people requesting a service have, as well as the people trying to deliver that service in a timely manner. Unfortunately, being able to see and understand the reality of our processes so we can improve them is not always easy and obvious. For most organizations, the continual improvement process is very manual, time-consuming and expensive. It involves pouring through a ton of reports, holding virtual and in-person workshops, maybe hiring third-party consultants, and then ultimately getting alignment on the path to move forward. At the speed in which most organizations are trying to move these days, by the time we get through all these things, the optimal path forward may have already changed. This is where process mining comes in. Process mining accelerates our ability to see the reality of our processes. It helps us identify bottlenecks and inefficiencies so our customers can streamline their operations and achieve higher levels of productivity and efficiency. Now, you might be saying, we already have a bunch of dashboards that give us insight. How is this different? Well, traditional analytics that most of us are familiar with help us answer very important questions like, how many tickets did we work? Which types of tickets were they? How long did it take to close those tickets? And probably most importantly, are we hitting our targets and are we improving our throughput times? Those are all the types of questions that traditional analytics help us answer. They kind of show us the what of what's going on. And we hope that you're using our in-platform reporting and analytics to help you answer all of these very important questions. The thing is, information tends to be one of the most addictive and contagious things out there. You give somebody a little bit, they always want more, especially when targets are missed. Right? So the first thing that happens when we get a dashboard like this out the door, somebody in leadership starts asking, why are we missing our CSAT or ESAT targets? Why are our closure times trending in the wrong directions? Why, why, why? And the answers to those follow-up why questions aren't always the easiest to come by. This is where process mining comes in. Process mining allows us to ask and answer all those follow-up why questions about the things people are seeing on those higher level dashboards. Like where is the process getting stuck? Where is there any unnecessary rework happening within the process? Where are we spending or wasting the most time? Or my favorite one, I've been asked this question so many times over the years, I've liked to give it to name. I've like, I've given it a name. Um, I like to call it the finger pointing report. Everybody wants to know who's holding on to the tickets the longest. I need to know who's holding on to the tickets the longest. Or if you're a more glass half full person, we call that the opportunity to improve report. These are all the types of questions that process mining help us answer. Essentially, we like to say that process mining is going to get us to the why behind all of those KPIs that we're focused on. Um, and we can apply that uh, process mining to get that visibility into the reality of what's going on to a single table process on the ServiceNow platform, like this incident example on the screen here, where we're looking at how tickets are moving from step to step within the process. Or maybe we want to apply it to a more advanced workflow, something like an HR lifecycle event, like onboarding, where you have a high level HR case and then a whole bunch of sub requests and tasks that feed off of that as people move through the onboarding process as an organization. We can use our multi-dimensional mining capability to give you that end-to-end -end visibility into the entire process. This multi-dimensional mining capability is very helpful for a traditional ServiceNow request 
a requested item. If you think about where we're we're looking for bottlenecks within a request process. There's usually two main places. One is at the approval step, which lives with the requested item itself. And the other place that bottleneck exists with is within the fulfillment process, which typically live within tasks. So being able to put these two things side by side really gives you an understanding of where you could potentially improve and speed up that service delivery process. And then we also have the ability to provide visibility into processes that aren't running on the ServiceNow platform with our external data offering. Uh, so the example that you're looking at on the screen here is actually data that's been pulled from smart recruiters to give us visibility into the bottlenecks within our hiring process. Um, so not only can we mine ServiceNow process data, but we also can start mining and looking for bottlenecks and inefficiencies within processes that live outside of ServiceNow and potentially give us the insights we need to help us reimagine those processes on the ServiceNow platform. Now, if you think about it, in order to optimize a process, there's really four main steps, detect, analyze, improve, and monitor. And we believe that we give our ServiceNow customers advantage because we have all four phases on a single platform. If you think about detect, there's a number of things on the ServiceNow platform that help our customers understand that things are not going according to plan, whether they're notifications of some sort, maybe based on an SLA, or probably more likely notifications based on performance analytics, key performance indicators, missing their targets and their thresholds. These are things that let us know that things aren't going according to plan or they're going bump in the night. But once we're aware that things aren't going according to plan, we need to understand why that's happening and how we potentially can improve. And that's when we move into the analyze phase where process mining comes into the mix. And it gives us things like visualized process maps, bottleneck analysis, root cause, variation analysis, along with a connection with something called automation discovering, which is a machine learning based solution that helps us identify automation opportunities. These are all things that live with inside, within process mining that help us understand where things are going wrong and how we potentially could improve. And then as you're probably aware, there's no shortage of ways to improve workflows running on the ServiceNow platform. Whether you know maybe process mining shines a light on a situation where we have tickets uh, that are bouncing in and out of that awaiting caller info state, and we potentially could use the virtual agent to improve an intake experience to get the right information up front to eliminate some of that back and forth. Maybe process mining is going to shine a light on a situation where we have tickets going through multiple teams before they get to their final resting place. And we can use our predictive intelligence capability to help get those tickets to the right place the first time and streamline that process. Sometimes process mining shines a light on situations where we have tickets, uh, people that are swivel chairing data from one system to another. And we could maybe use our automation engine or RPA bot to uh, automate away that swivel chairing. And sometimes process mining shines a light on situations in which it's not an automated fix. It's just a human thing we should stop doing. Uh, maybe it's we have two levels of approval on printer toner requests, and that second level of approval is, is adding three days to the closure time. And potentially, we just take out that second level of approval because it's being approved 99.9% .9 of the time. And now the process is managed, uh, magically running three days faster. So no shortage of ways to improve. And then the last piece is really important. When you start using process mining, you're going to find no shortage of improvement opportunities, but you're not going to have the time to act on all of them all at once. You're going to need to prioritize which ones to act on first. And that's where the monitor phase comes in, and we give you applications on the ServiceNow platform like Continual Improvement Management and Automation Center to help you capture all of these potential opportunities, track them, prioritize them, and ensure that they get followed up on. It's a really big piece, right? Insights and analytics are great, but you re really receive no value from them unless you act on them. These applications help us close the loop from a continual improvement perspective and drive accountability in the organization and ensure we get the value out of the work that we're doing from an analytics perspective. So all four of these phases on one single platform allows us to streamline that continual improvement process, allows us to make it more part of your regular routine and not just a once or twice a year type of science project that you're doing in Excel and PowerPoints. Now, there's no shortage of opportunities to learn more about process mining above and beyond this short video that you just sat through. There's an on-demand training on the Now Learning site called Process Mining Essentials. There's a great white paper out there on the community uh, detailing our own now on now story with process mining, how we attacked process mining from a programmatic perspective and some of our early findings. 
There's a whole community forum site, which is probably where you found this video, uh, focused, uh, Product Hub focused on process mining. We also host a monthly process mining academy where we do deep dives into different areas of the solution. All of those sessions are recorded um, and posted to the community site. So if you really wanna learn more, go check out the Process Mining Academy. We've also released a series of use case videos. So short little five minute videos that show you how to use process mining to do things like SLA breach analysis or look for automation opportunities by isolating tickets that are taking longer to route than to resolve or looking at how um, change risk score changes are impacting the success of those changes. So these are short little five minute videos that help you get an understanding of the types of things that process mining can help you uncover. And then lastly, there's a live on now session called Getting Started with ServiceNow's in-platform process mining that walks you through the plugins you need to turn on, how to create your initial product uh, projects, and just get, getting you going with the solution so you can start seeing the reality behind your workflows. And of course, if you want to see a live demonstration of this, uh, just check out, there's a, a recorded demo right beneath this recording on this community page that you came to or blog post that you came to. So we started with a quote, we'll also end with a quote. To improve is to change, to be perfect is to change often. And I like this quote because we really need to be thinking about continual improvement as something that we do on an ongoing basis, right? We're never done. Right? We Every time we fix one thing, we need to go after the next thing. Every second, every minute counts when it comes to service delivery and process mining is a big part to giving us our, that visibility to allow us to change on a more often a regular basis. Thank you for your time here today. Happy mining, everyone.